Hey y'all, welcome back. You are cooking with Sheila and Carissa and, and in the Gangster Goodies Kitchen. We're going to show you how to make something quick, something simple. It can be a whole meal or you can add other things with it if you want to, you know, have some carbs. We're trying to do low carbs, but yeah. you know, especially when you get a certain age, just like them carbs are not our friend. <laughs> I know, girl. They are not I our friend. <laughs> so take a look at the ingredients. Today's ingredients include chicken breasts, green onions, both the green and the white part, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, shredded carrots, sliced green peppers, and sliced red peppers. Ingredients for the chicken lettuce wraps. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in, and Carissa, if you wanna put the chicken inside of the skillet. All right. And so I, Cook the chicken ahead of time and cubed it up so that it would already be ready. It's got all those juices in it. Mmm, yummy, yummy. And next we are going to add your red bell peppers. Okay. And then your green bell peppers. There we go. And we're going to add just, uh, this is soy sauce. Okay. So this okay. is kind of what's going to give it the little bit of sodium that it has. Yeah. And just maybe a little dab. Okay. Now. Not the whole Not the whole not thing. The whole yes, layer. just okay. a little bit. That's perfect. Right. Yes. And we're going to add our green onions. So we mm -hmm. use two green onions, both the green and the white part. Okay. okay. And if you want to give it a stir. Yes. And you can do this, like cook the chicken the night before, you know, once it cools off, put it in a Ziploc bag, and so it'll be ready to go for you when you actually get ready to make this dish. And it's pretty, it's colorful. It smells good. Yeah. It smells good, yes. And I just seasoned the chicken with a little bit of Mike P's original seasoning. Oh, Mike okay. P is a local guy, mm -hmm. and he does uh, spices and rubs and barbecue rubs and that sort of thing. And so he makes sure we stay stocked on spices, so I make yes. sure I use his spices. I oh, love cool. that. So, and the original is my all-over favorite. I say to okay. to us that Mike P's original is like my Lowry's. Okay. Oh, okay. Got but it. with nowhere near the sodium. That's okay. important. Okay, yeah, yes. Important. yes, yes, yes. Now, Clarissa, if we wanted to want to add, this is uh, teriyaki sauce. Okay. Okay. Pull and you can pour the whole thing in there. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, oh, my good. God. So I'm going to let you guys see what that looks like while it's cooking. So this is what it looks like in the pot, y'all, when it's cooking. Look at that. Isn't that pretty and colorful? Yes. Look good. Oh my God, you got it smelling good over there. So if you want to add the carrots, okay. and you can put them all in there. I'm a carrot lover. I am and too. again, yeah. it's like the more vegetables we can get in us, yeah. the better we are. Exactly. And then we will let that simmer for a few minutes. And when we come back, y'all, we're going to taste these lettuce wraps. And we're going to learn more about Carissa, Carissa and Wesley and Grace and Grind, y'all. We'll be right back. Wow. Here is our finished dish, y'all. Those chicken lettuce wraps. We just took some fresh, crisp romaine lettuce. And here we have it. Okay, y'all, we are back and we get a chance to taste Carissa's chicken lettuce wraps. Okay. You, you guys go first. Okay. Right, cool. So you just grab, kind of like you do a taco. So you just grab a thing of a uh, a leaf of lettuce, okay. and then you uh, there's a spoon over there, and you put your uh, fixings in it. All right. This looks so good. I cannot mm. wait. And it's got those fresh vegetables in it. You can put mushroom. I've put mushrooms in them. I've put zucchini and squash in it. Yeah. It's just oh. like whatever you want. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Perfect. And then you got a little sauce. All right. And yes. Sauce. And the sauce has a little bit of a uh, little bit of teriyaki, a little bit of soy. It's got some uh, chopped ginger, chopped garlic. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right ahead. Dig in. All right. Do you think your kids would like it? 
<laughs> Our daughter would definitely love it. Okay. My son. Our know. son. Maybe you got a little messy. He would say, "What are these peppers?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's like, "What sense. is going <laughs> on?" He would love the chicken and the sauce, though, for sure. Okay. He like the peppers, I think. Maybe. You don't think he like the peppers? No. No. Say no on the peppers. And I've made it vegetarian too, with no meat. Yes. And so I use uh, garbanzo beans, black beans, mm, mm -hmm. uh, mushrooms, uh, like the portobello, portobello mushrooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds really good. It's really good, too. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you all taste and okay. tell everybody what you think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's going, uh-huh. <laughs> This is yep. fire. Yeah, it's real good. And you know what? That's funny. That's what we say all the time. When something fire. is good in the Gangster Goodies Kitchen, we say it's fire. F-I-Y-A-H. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, fire. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's real good. Good. I'm glad you like it. That's awesome. And it's quick and easy. And it's very filling. It yes. is. Yes. It is filling. Yes. I'm glad you like it. I'm in love. Awesome. And then make it when people are coming over. You know, you want a quick appetizer that, and it's and it looks so pretty and all of that. You know, it so it's like mm. great. People will love it. Mm, good. Good. Yeah. I'm glad good you good. like it. I'm glad you like it. That's awesome. All right. That is okay. Yeah. So they like it, y'all. So y'all make yeah. sure y'all try yeah. this recipe, oh. and so your family and friends uh, can try it as well. There's nothing like. Sharing food uh, with good people. It's, you know, it's, it's just does something for the soul. Um, I always ask guests to share like a, a fun or fond food memory, whether mm. it's something that you all have started yeah. with your own family mm -hmm. or when you were growing up, uh, but something that's kind of food related. For me, my fondest food memories are always like with my parents, my grandparents, my uncles. Our family is super duper big when it comes to the core of us, you know? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So Easter, Thanksgiving, okay. Christmas, all okay. the major holidays. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Like, those are always the funnest times. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Food makes everything better. Yes. It? It, yeah, just it, does. Does. it yes. just does. It does. It does. What about you, Wesley? So for me, my mom's always used to cook on like Sundays. Okay. So, yes. And she can burn. Like, okay. Like broccoli, rice, and cheese dish she made. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Mama yeah. can burn. Like, yeah. I love it. Yep. So, yep. No, she was a single parent. So okay. that was the time with me, her, and my brother. We got to really get close in. Absolutely. Yeah. It's amazing the bonds that you build in the kitchen over food. Uh, with your parents, and that's yeah. one of the reasons why we do this because we believe that the kitchen and the and the cooking together is uniquely positioned just for that. Yeah, uh, to help bring families and communities together one meal at a time. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Now tell us about Grace and Grind. I love it, y'all. Don't y'all love it? Grace and Grind. So stop right now. Go get your phones out and go to Instagram. Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn. All of that. We're going to put yes. all of that up there so y'all won't forget. Grace and Grind, y'all. They are ours. They are Kansas City's own. Mm -hmm. It is up to us to support them, right? Yes. So I want y'all to do that. Yes. So tell us who about Grace and Grind. So Grace and Grind is a health and wellness publication. Okay. And our goal is to enrich, enhance, and empower lives through self-care. Mm. So you can find us on social media at Grace and Grind Co., um, in addition to the articles, we have the podcast, awesome. um, we have on-demand health coaching services, and then mm -hmm. we also offer digital marketing for other health and wellness brands. Really? Yes. Yeah. So what platform is your podcast? Can they find your podcast on? All of them. Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts. Okay. We're everywhere. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I love it. They are all on top of it. Yeah. So whatever your mode is, whatever vehicle you like getting there, <laughs> you can get, you can get there. Yeah. Grace yes. and grind. I love it. And so what motivated you all to do this and to do this together? This is a couple, y'all. This is a married couple. And I thank them for, you know, for sticking it out because it ain't easy. Right. And right. Um, right. that's, I mean, that's huge for us to, to have young black couples who are, regardless of what they meet, the challenges, they're like, you know what? We're committed to each other. Yes. Yeah. And we're going to do this and we're going to rock this out together. And I appreciate it. I Thank do. You. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. So tell us 
what inspired it? How did you guys get started on this Grace and Grind? So, well, it was kind of like an idea that I got two, three years ago. Okay. Where, you know, like we always extend grace. But one thing we both do, we grind out. Mm -hmm. I like, love like it. Like when we both got married, we didn't have our college degrees. Now we got our college degrees. Yes. You know, we both work. We worked in corporate America. I'm still in corporate America. But mm -hmm. now she's running Grace and Grind full time, running the business. Mm -hmm. But then, so it's like nice. putting that grace and that grind together. Yeah. And then I think. If I'm being honest, that's what kept us together. Yes. yes. Grace and Grind. Two years ago, we hit a, a red spot. In yes. Our yes. Then us just giving grace to one another, but grinding on ourselves and self care, learning how to love ourselves and love one another. Mm -hmm. That's That was the work we had to do to, to, work, to get it together. Now, this is manifested. Grace yeah. and Grind. I love it. So, and, and I've heard a friend of mine, uh, we were talking about that not too long ago about grace and how as couples, we don't give each other grace. Right. 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 Tell people what that means. Because some people may not know yeah. what that means. Yeah. Well, I think mm -hmm. that for us, the biggest lesson was realizing that, yo, like, I'm messed up. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm just a messed up person, mm -hmm. individual, mm -hmm. you know. And I want grace extended to me. Yes. So I need to extend that same grace to him. Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. It's really just about recognizing that at the end of the day, mm -hmm. we're both just human, human beings, beings trying to figure out life. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. And then you reciprocate it. And I, unconditional love. Yes. Learning yes. how to love somebody unconditionally. Mm -hmm. That's like very key. Yeah. I love it. So is the key learning how to love yourself first? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. 100%. Yes. 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 So yes. when people, uh, and we'll put your information up there so that people can tap into you because you're going to, you teach people how to do that. How to take have those conversations and yes. get on the path. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. On our website, like there's tons of articles. We try to put out eight to twelve articles a month, mm -hmm. um, and they're all about different areas of, of health and wellness. So, okay. Rather that's faith, fitness, yes. food, whatever the case may be, self care, especially in the era that we're in right now, we've yes. definitely been doing. A lot of work um, when it comes to just making sure that your mental health yes. stays yeah. intact. Yes. You know, giving your, yourself permission to unplug and recharge. <laughs> most definitely. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, most definitely. That is really, really huge. So how do... So I would imagine... Because uh, I didn't have the benefit of growing up with two parents in the home. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so... Explain to people how that impacts your children. <laughs> yes. So our story is really interesting because I had both parents in my home. Mm -hmm. Wesley grew up with a single mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he actually adopted my daughter. Okay. So okay. she was four when we got married. Okay. And his step-parent adopted her. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, it's really incredible. It takes a special man. It takes a special person, period, to be a step parent. Mm -hmm. But it really, really, really takes a special man mm -hmm. to be a step parent and adopt someone else's yes. child. Yes, yeah. it yes. really does. Kudos okay. to you, Mr. Yes. Thank you. That Thank is you very much. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, just the whole family structure and. Making sure that, you know, there's grace in that, too, you know? Mm. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. No family structure is perfect, even in ideal situations like me, where yes. I grew up with both parents, you know? Yes. I still saw things and experienced things that mm. created dysfunctions and weren't, and weren't healthy. Absolutely. So it's just about that grace factor. Like, yeah. grace and self-care has to be at the core of every relationship. I yeah. love it. Grace and self-care, y'all. Grace and Grind, thank you so much for spending your Saturday afternoon with us. That really means a lot to us because you could be out there grinding <laughs> and you're here with yeah. me and I love it. And it's and it's always an honor. Well, it's you know? pleasure. Thanks yeah. for having Thanks me. For having you're us. welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I'm like, oh my God, who are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the food is fire too. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is. Again, we will put your information up. Uh, Kansas City, here's a resource for you, a very valuable resource. Why don't y'all tap in, okay? So peace out, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.